This past console generation brought us many games based on properties like TV shows, movies, and even comic books. And no other company was featured in this generation more than Marvel, with hits such as Spider-Man from Insomniac to even last year's Avengers from Square. At E3 in 2021, Square announced a new game based on Guardians of the Galaxy. After seeing the gameplay and trailers, it shows a lot of promise, along with some concerns with it being single player and you can only play as Star-Lord. But I feel it benefited the game more and looks to be a contender for not only one of the best Marvel games, but easily one of the best games of the year. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications as we turn up the volume with Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. So the story takes place during the aftermath of a galactic war, with the team consisting of Star-Lord, Drax, Gamora, Rocket, and Groot looking to make some quick cash while exploring a restricted area. As they explore the area, a small accident occurs causing a massive chain reaction that they have to fix or else the galaxy is doomed. The gameplay has a mix of combat and exploration. You only control Star-Lord, but you can command the other Guardians during exploration, such as setting up a path to find secret areas that can lead to goodies, like asking Rocket to enter a small gap, to even having Groot build a bridge with his branches. In the combat, you can command what the other Guardians do, each with their unique abilities and skills that you can upgrade by earning points, doing combos, and gaining momentum. And whenever a Guardian is down and needs some help, you can revive them, and they can help you if you're in a jam yourself. What makes this game unique than any other Marvel game is the element of branching stories. Most of the game when not battling any enemies, you would be given an option of what Peter should say next, which in some cases can change the way you progress to the story, similar to the Telltale games back in 2017. These decisions can play a role into many aspects, such as how the team will cooperate to some critical parts of the story that can bite you in the ass later on. Even during combat, there is a super move called the Huddle, where what Peter says can either give your team the strength or it can give you a tough time in battle, which is actually a pretty cool touch to the combat as you gotta pay attention to the dialogue, whether it's a cutscene or during gameplay, as I feel it would grab the player's attention more. As you go through the 16 chapters in this near 20 hour campaign, you can use Peter's visor to scan to find any potential secret paths, components, and even scan various objects, which gives more detail in the journals. You can also find collectibles that can expand more into the background of the characters and the story. Presentation-wise, this game has loads of energy with the visuals looking great. The audio department is fantastic, from the voice cast to the music with a rad soundtrack full of licensed songs like White Wedding by Billy Idol to even Take On Me, which can be turned off if you're planning to stream this game. And mad props to Square and Idos for having this option so you won't be scared of getting copyright strike while streaming this game. The writing in this game is really good and instantly reminded me of the MCU movies that made me feel like I was playing them. Each of the characters have interactions with each other and rarely repeat any lines, which add more to the freshness of the writing. There are lots of customization options in the cosmetic department, with many from various comics and even from the MCU movies, each of them with a description and where the costumes originated from. While this game has loads of energy and stellar gameplay, that could also be said about its weaknesses. For starters, during the exploration, it sucks that there is no running. I mean, sure, there is a dash button, but I'd rather have Peter run full speed up in the game rather than just repeating the lead push the circle button. The combat is easily repetitive that could turn people away. In fact, there's so many times I felt like I was doing the same moves and abilities over and over to the point I thought I was playing the same chapters. I also felt that this game would have benefited if it had multiplayer, especially when it comes to combat. It would have been fun to play as each guardian, whether it's locally with friends or even online. And depending on who you talk to, there are no microtransactions, and Square has no plans to release any DLC for this game, which kinda sucks, because after completing this game, I felt there could have been more, whether it's a new story campaign or even new costumes for the Guardians. Performance-wise, this game runs pretty steadily at 30 frames per second, with lots of bugs and glitches from characters freezing or stuck walking towards a wall, to even the game crashing despite a few patches released to address the issues. So with all that being said, Guardians of the Galaxy combines the action-filled journey with the wholesome touching moments, with some branching paths that would make you go back to play another playthrough, to make alternate choices and find any missing collectibles. With the simple level design, fresh interactions, and linear gameplay, this is a game I feel not only is one of the best Marvel games, but easily one of the best of the year with the likes of Metroid Dread and Ratchet and & Clank Rift Apart. You don't have to be a huge fan of Guardians of the Galaxy to enjoy this game, and I feel this is a high-tier game for Marvel to the likes of 2018 Spider-Man and last year's Miles Morales, and also proves that linear single-player gameplay is still alive and kicking. So with that in mind, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy for the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PC, and Switch gets a 9 out of 10.
Thank you all for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more reviews. Also check out my other videos and reviews as well. Once again, thank you for watching and take care. Peace out, y'all.